Hey guys, welcome back to the Pokemon Platinum Survivor Solar Run. We're back at the Pokemon League, and yeah, we have to sell some business with the Elite Four yet again. Uh, off screen, I put the our HM slaves off or in the PC, so I did that off screen. And uh, Predator is level 91. It grew to 90, level 91 actually, like after. Uh, like last video, last part it did. The total amount of experience it has so far is 1,163,912. It needs 50, 000, over 50,000 more to get to level 92. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So I already did like all the crap off screen, so it's just not hesitate and go straight through. And yep, here we go. Now as now as we uh like I did last time, um we're gonna battle Aaron and then Bertha right away. Cause yeah. I'm, I'm just gonna do that. Cause I mean is this easier that way in my opinion? So rebattle with Aaron starts now. And take note, the Elite Four don't have any different Pokemon, they're just higher leveled, so I'm not really too afraid. If we can beat them one time, we can beat them again. And we're actually faster than that Yenmega this time, so... That's actually pretty good. I, I think we were faster last time too, but I'm not, I don't remember actually. Heracross. So basically, uh, Aaron is just a flamethrower sweep because, I mean, all of his Pokemon are bug type except his ace Pokemon. Oh wow, you actually survived that. Ooh, you got burned though, it sucks for you. Oh, I, I, I think you have guts. I hope you don't have guts. That'll make your attack like. Okay, no, you don't have guts, okay, you have swarm. Ha, huh, sucker, you, you, you failed. Now, if you had the guts, I would, I would be freaked out, but that didn't even scare me a little bit. Okay, Vespa Clan. Simple as that. I didn't think uh, Heracross would survive that flamethrower, but it did, so. Okay, Vespa Clan is out. Ready. Next up is Drapion, his ace Pokemon. He got 69. Lols. Alright, so you're immune to both my... Both Poison Jab and Crunch. You got a cool hit on Ice Fang. That sucks. So, uh, let's just try to get a, a uh, burn on this guy. Because, uh, great, here... Comes stupid freaking citrus spray. So nice thing is not doing that much. Just that critical kind of ruined it in the moment with the sweep. But Pred oh one HP really really now. Uh... Oh my god that's. Ridiculous. I hate you. It's all my life, Drapion. Oh crap, I guess I, I misclicked. Whoops, my bad. Oh my, that did actually that did quite a bit actually. That did more than what I thought it would. Alright, well, I guess that's acceptable. In a way. Oh, 1 HP again. Seriously. Actually, that's like, I think that's like 5, but still. Alright, good. Okay, sweet. Get Scizor. Normally I would just go for the flamethrower right off the bat, but I'm so freaked out this thing has bullet punch, and I'm not taking the 
big of a risk. So, max potion up. I'm not taking that risk that he has bullet punch. I'm almost certain that's what he has. You know, despite it's his last Pokemon, but still. Okay, okay, you don't have a bullet punch. I guess you don't. Maybe I just over exaggerated right there, but. I mean, you, you, you can see why I'd be worried about that. I mean, it's a Scizor. Yeah, Scizors usually carry that, but yeah, I think this isn't. This is actual gameplay, not Wi Fi or nothing. So I guess I, I over exaggerated, guys. My bad. My bad. But it's, a, it's reasonable. It's understandable why I would do that. Alright, so Aaron is out for the, for the game. Wow, what the f How am I invisible? That's just... Okay, what do you do? I'm invisible, guys. Wee. And here I'm back. Yeah, I turned into blue for a second there, but yeah. Alright. So, actually, there is one thing I do want to do, because this is what I realized. I was looking off screen, but um, let me figure out Predator first. Off screen, I was looking through my TMs, because I was thinking about selling them. Then I looked at uh, that at this. Predator learned Poison Jab by level up, which means I have the TM for Poison Jab. Now, what I was thinking is, since I'm facing against a ground type Elite Four member, I was thinking about giving Predator Giga Drain because because he can learn Giga Drain, and that would be a big help in the uh, in this. Elite Four, like a humongous help. So I think what I'm gonna do is is teach Predator Giga Drain, get rid of Poison Jab. I know, I know, it's it's a stab move and everything, but I have the TM for Poison Jab, and I think I'm only gonna use Giga Drain for this battle by itself. So as soon as this battle is over, I will reteach. Um, Predator Poison Job again, since I have the team for it. That's a, that's a really good idea, in my opinion. I'm gonna go for it, so let's try it. Alright, so here's Bertha, the big frick, the old, old ass bitch that freaking gave us problems last time we fought her. And take note, I didn't save, I didn't pause or anything like that off screen, I didn't save off screen or nothing. This is like straight after Aaron, so. Um, yeah, just just letting you guys know that. Alright, since this is a whiz cash, I can just go for the Giga Drain right off the bat. I mean, the worst it can do is Earth Power me, and Earth Power doesn't do that much, does Predator for some reason. What I should have done was give Predator the uh, bolt the a grass type item that boosts the power of grass type moves, like a miracle seed or something. I should have done that, but I didn't. Because that would give a boost to Giga Drain power since it's not stab. Alright, now I'll go for the double teams. I haven't seen this method in a while. Okay, gone. Might as well just go for it again. I know I'm gonna go to sleep, so I mean, let's just go for the second double team. Alright. Now, believe it or not, I'm not too freaked out about the earthquake. I, I'm only worried about the critical hits, basically, because. I mean, yeah. That's a stab earthquake right there. Holy crap. Okay, okay, I take that back. I am freaked out. In the red HP. I really have to get lucky in this battle, cause I'm seriously lucky. I mean, I could probably pull it off since I always get lucky with the burn hacks and everything, but Stone Edge is not too bad. Actually, that's. Wow, I'm surprised that hit. That's 60 accuracy right there. And Stone Edge has a uh, horrible accuracy as it is. Been a while. All right, so now we got to do this again. 
Yeah, believe me guys, this is, this is going to be a long video. We're, we're at 10 minutes already. This is going to be a long video. Probably the longest video I, I have ever made. By far. Okay, good. So I'm just letting you guys know that right now. You might already know that because the time limit's on YouTube, but I don't know that right now because I'm recording live. So, yeah. Alrighty, there's the Earthquake. It won't hit on 80 accuracy, but it'll hit on 70. That doesn't make any sense to me, but... Whatever. World of Pokemon, you can never understand it. Alright, so I'm really hoping that he doesn't get a freaking crit, because... From what I understand, or from how I take it, the more times someone uses double team, the higher the critical hit ratio can get. That's my thing, because every time... Like, if I were to use double team in, like, my actual DS games, and, like, I used six of them, and then the opponent hit me, managed to hit me once, he would get a critical hit and okay me. So, I mean, yeah. And critical hits are good for you, but they're not good for when the opponent gets them. Everyone hates critical hits. And I'm really glad you went for Yawn. That, that just gives me an extra um, turn of double team spam. Here's the fifth one. Okay, thanks for re yawning again. I don't know why you would do that, but who's complaining? Probably, uh, you might have done that. You might have done that just to get the extra sandstorm damage, so you can kill me with earthquake. But that's not gonna work for you. Why did I do that for? I should have healed the sleep too. Crap in a bucket. Why did I do that for? Oh my god, 50, ac 50 accuracy, and you're hitting me in earthquake. Like, wow. Just because predator is on the ground doesn't mean you can hit it with an earthquake. It just doesn't mean that. Alright, you actually took that pretty well. Better. Better than the first two. Or three. I don't know how many times this guy's used Earth, but... I mean, I should be good on items, because, I mean, I have uh, 18 full restores. Well, after this one. Since this one, since I used this one, I have 18 left. And, yeah, so. Final double team. Right, that's a full six of them. It took me like five minutes just to do that, so. Okay, that yawn is just, is just gonna drive me crazy. I, I'm not gonna be able to handle that. Alright, let's just attack. What's, oh no, what the hell? I have nothing else to do. I can't heal that sleep because I don't have it. Nice, half, over half damage. And I get my see. That's a, that's another great thing with uh with yawn or not yawn. Giga Drain. I can heal all, I can heal my HP and damage at the same time. So it's really great that I actually did that. And now that I think about it, let's just let's just try to get lucky with, with the shed skin. I mean, it, I'm kind of pushing my luck, but at the same time, it's being reasonable. I mean, I mean, I've seen Predator shed sleep before, and wow, why, why are you hitting me with Earthquake still? I, mean, I have six double teams up, do they not matter or nothing? Alright, thank god. You survived just, just enough HP that will survive a sandstorm hit. 20. Oh, finally, freaking lordy. Alright, let's just get drain, get get some of our HP back. I mean, we kill and get HP back. Let's just... How smart am I? I'm, I'm just brilliant like that. 66. Freaking hell yes. Finally, that thing is down. I was getting tired of seeing that thing. Alright. Back in the red. What do you do? That's <laughs> 69. Lols. Gotta love that, don't you? Just love that. 
Alright, so Gliscor. This thing is so... Such a threat to Predator, it's not even funny. Just, it's horrible. Giga Drain is neutral on this thing too, because it's part flying. So, I think I'm just going to go for the stronger special attack. Because, which is Flamethrower. So, I, that way I can get a burn off. Hopefully. Please, 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 please. Okay, good god. Alright, sweet. I mean, if I manage to pull off a burn on this Gliscor, that'd be just so great. Because not only will Earthquake be lowered, but it would get hurt every other every turn, too. So, I mean, that would just be so helpful. I mean, I mean the one time I need burn, it doesn't come back, but... Whenever I don't really care if a burn comes, it comes. Just, yeah. The other thing is, Gliscor is faster than Predator, so... You gotta get lucky with the mishaps. You miss it twice, but apparently even that 40 accuracy doesn't make a difference. So let's see. Burn Hex? Burn Hex? Burn Hex? Nope. Alrighty, 16 minutes, what do you do? I'm getting kind of bored actually with this. And this might be a little bit suspenseful for viewers rebattling a ground type elite 4 member with a poison type. Again, but. Like I said earlier, I can get lucky once, I can get lucky again. And this glide score is mainly the last threat I'm worried about because. Because her last two Pokemon are part rock and ground, so Giga Drain can pretty much just kill them, like, like one hit KO, basically. And I'm just waiting for that Miss Hex to come by because it's not happening for some reason. And I remember once I tried to record this. It was actually a long time ago. I tried to record this battle, and this Glyscore got a critical hit with an Earthquake. I had six double teams up too, and it pissed me off so much. That's why I'm so worried that it will crit me again. Alright, it's just like every other... Oh my god, these Earthquakes just don't ma matter to me, don't they? Or these double teams, they just do not matter today. Because it's like pointless. No, no, okay, thank god. Whew, that was so close. That was just... Oh my god. Alrighty. Okay, thank god Glyscore is out of the way. Finally. Alright. Oh man, I'm getting like freaked out by this. Okay, Golem. Uh, for some reason, I'm, I'm just freaked out. A good, good dream won't be enough. I mean... It should be, but... I'm not risking it. I'm just. I am not a risk taker. I cannot take any risks whatsoever in reality or whatever. I just can't do it. It's just. I want to be at full health before this thing can earth book me too. Or fire punch me. I told you golems can learn fire punch. I told you all, but. Well, no one really disobeyed me. Okay, let's see if Giga Dream will kill. If it does, I'm gonna be like, crap, why'd I heal up? Why'd I waste a turn for? Alright, it was a one hit KO. What the hell was I thinking? Wait, I guess, see, I'm precautionous. I'm really, I'm really precautious, because, I mean, that's how I am in, in every situation. Pokemon or not, or not, it's just I'm precautious. Okay, right, right, Furrier, right, Furrier, whatever. Hoo yeah. Let's hope we're 20 levels higher than this thing. Giga Drain should be the job. If it can handle a Golem, it can definitely handle a right Furrier. I kind of know that for a fact. Let's see. Boo fucking yeah. See, Predator can not only handle a ground type leader. Once, but it can handle a ground type elite four member twice. Motherfucking yes. 
screw you all. I, yeah, screw you all. Freaking hell yeah. I, I beat her. You guys saw it first. Fuck yeah. I'm so freaking professional. I just love myself. Okay. Let's see here. Perry, you don't even need to get healed up. Wow. Alright, so... I really don't have any more use out of uh, Giga Drain. I only needed it for that one battle. So, Predator, you're getting Poison Jab back, my friend. Thank you for helping me beat her. You are amazing. Okay. Giga Drain's out. Goodbye and hello, Poison Jab again. Now, I want to heal up... Uh, PP a uh, flamethrower because it's, it's hella low. But okay, guys. Next time, we'll go in there and face Flint and Lucian in the next episode. I'll see you guys later.